London's independent filmmakers, like those gathered here at Showreel Film Night in Balham, are finding it increasingly hard to finance their projects. Film London, the capital's main fund, originally limited specific boroughs to their own funding schemes. This helped to strengthen links between directors and their local communities, but some areas were left excluded. With the recession forcing a number of partnering councils to opt out, Film London is trying to maintain availability by opening up a fund for all other boroughs. They also offer script support and other forms of training, which some directors value just as highly as money itself. Stuart Elliott from Hackney is one filmmaker to benefit from the scheme opening up to the rest of London, as he would have otherwise been unable to apply. He thinks funding is absolutely vital. It's good to get the script development, but it's all about getting the money. So you need the money is the number one reason why you do it. Yeah, well my film Ollie is shown tonight. Um, I shot it in Finsbury Park, specifically because it's it's cheaper for lighting, it's self-funded. So if you go and film in a park, it's cheaper than it is to light a whole cafe or hire a cafe or a house. However, there are some filmmakers that believe funding is not so important, like Joshua Westbury who makes animated films on very small budgets. While Film London opening up their borders means more competition for less money, he feels being a director is all about being creative to resolve issues. Funding is important, but part of the challenge of film at any level is about how, how, how you can solve problems, how you can be ingenious, um, ingenuity, how you can make the film without the funding if you don't get it, or on, go above and beyond the funding if it's, if it's not enough to do what you want to do. I mean, I've, I've made most of my films on microscopic budgets, and in some cases with no budget, it really is just a question of getting people together with similar interests and going ahead and making a film on the basis that you're going to learn from it and you don't get anywhere if you don't ask, so you ask people and you'd be amazed how many people will become involved if you do that. As well as less money being available to more people, another side effect could be the loss of local connections. Showreel organiser Rob West makes documentaries and has met a vast number of filmmakers from all over London. He thinks the fund would be more beneficial if kept at a local level. My sense is it's probably better if it's specific to particular areas if only because um, I think it gives a greater local connection. I think there's a lot to be said for filming in a particular area and having a connection with that area because location is very often a very important part of a film, location and the people, the communities that are associated with that location become, very, become a very important part of, of the film itself. Film London agrees that losing part of the unique local aspect of the scheme would be a shame. However, they argue that with so many filmmakers in need of funding, the cost-cutting measures they have taken are required. One of the great things about the, the funds being at a borough level is that there is a, a connection between the filmmakers and the borough that, that is supporting them, and often the films will be based there. Um, that's not obligatory, but one of the great things is that you're usually working with uh, a member of the council who is a locations officer. So they will look at the script straight away and start offering really great suggestions for locations that will satisfy the script. The number of boroughs that have been involved in the scheme has gone down, particularly in the last two to three years, um, with the recession and with the credit crunch and with certain cuts. And so we wanted to make sure that as many London residents as possible I were able to apply. With Film London opening up their fund to all boroughs, there is a danger that the local connection may be lost. However, with the current economic climate, this is a necessary means. John Stammers, City News.